booth at Maple Leaf Gardens ready for an in-your-face Norris Division matchup between Minnesota and Toronto. There's the referee for tonight's game, Dan Marowelli, Scott Driscoll, and Dan McCourt are on the lines. Darcy Wakaluk was the story of the last meeting between these two teams. 28 stops on January 26th in a 2-1 win, and he's coming off a shutout against Tampa Bay. And for the Leafs, Felix Potvin owns the best goals against and save percentage in the entire league as he strengthens his case for Calder Trophy consideration. Fourth meeting between these two teams. And the North Stars have won the first three. First of a home-and-home -home series were underway. Cecil, Osborne, and Berg start up front for the Maple Leafs. Mike Madano on the ice with Mike Craig, and they've got Ulf Dahlen on the left wing of this starting line for the North Stars. Tenorti was hit hard there by Peter Zezel. And Harry, Tenorti was the focus of attention throughout that game on January 26th. He'll be the focus of attention tonight too. A horse of a player to play more than half the game. Lafave taking Dolan to the boards. Dolan with his skate on the puck, kicks it free for Mike Craig, the former Oshawa general. Back to Jimmy Johnson. There's Madano centering it. Zezel there for the Leafs. Zezel got a good bounce, got the puck ahead to Berg, and now the first penalty of the game. Mike Craig's going to get a two-minute penalty for hooking as he hauled Zezel down from behind as Zezel was moving with the puck out of his own zone. Oh, my mistake. They gave it to Jamie McCowan. I, so I thought I saw Craig pull Zezel down. Now there's McCowan interfering, and at the same time, he's trying to hook Zezel. Tenorti will be on the right end of a lot of hits tonight, and he's on the wrong end of one here by Peter Zezel. McCowan, two minutes for hooking. The North Stars get a chance on the power play. To early in this game, they're 14th in the National League with 57 power play goals, and the Leafs are 12th in the penalty killing department. Interesting, Harry, they're 12th percentage-wise, and yet they have allowed the fewest goals. They, against they've the, also been one of the very fewest shorthanded situations called against them, so that power play stat of percentage can and is often a little misleading. I think if you're going to evaluate the power play, you better look at the shorthanded situations too. Pat Burns is looking for win number 200 in his four and a half year NHL head coaching career. Obviously, many of these wins came with Montreal, but more than expected have come with the Leafs this year. Pat has his game face on as usual. He says, more so than usual, it's very important the first goal of the hockey game, and the North Stars with a nice chance here in the opening minute on the power play. Tenorti mans one point. There's the shot through traffic, hit a leg. Gilmore grabbed by Gagne. Gilmore goes down, lost the helmet, but stays with the puck. Now it's Bob Rose. Proud father for the second time. Can't clear the zone. Portnell, Chaudine, big shot just went wide. Osborne after it, but Tenorti pinched in. Hit by Gilmore. Portnell to Gagne. That shot goes off the mark, and Felix hops on it and holds on. Well, the Leafs have started this game with a lot of physical emotion. Tenorti has taken two big hits, one from Zezel and one from Gilmore. And this uh, skirmish occurs after Felix Potvin held the puck to give his penalty killers a break. A minute 19 left in the penalty for McCowan. The Minnesota North Stars becoming quite healthy with the return of Hatcher. Here are the six defensemen that they are dressing tonight. Tommy Sojean plays mostly in the power play. And the four lines that coach Bob Ganey will begin with. Well balanced. All of them can score. All of them trustworthy defensively. Smith injured. Matchebuck and Sakona. Gilmore and Tenorti. Their animosity started long before tonight. And the little Gilmore takes a jump at the big Tenorti. Bob Ganey, one of the keys to success against the Leafs, he says, is shutting Gilmore down. Gilmore in three games against the North Stars has but one assist. And that is not a coincidence regarding the fact the North Stars have not lost to the Leafs this year in the three games they've played. They play four more times, counting tonight, and as early as tomorrow night in Minnesota. 
Minute 19 left in the minor penalty. And Cecil won the draw and gets control and sends it down the ice wide of goaltender Darcy Wakala. Tommy Shodin, a power play specialist for the North Stars, feeds ahead and it's offside as Mike Craig was tangled up with Bob Rouse and play whistle down. Well, this is the main man offensively for the Minnesota North Stars, Mike Bonanno. 282 points, and this is 290th NHL game. 27 of those points coming in the last 16 games. He leads the team in assists and points. 43 assists, 66 points. Great speed, great shot. I guess the only complaint anybody might have about him is the odd time the intensity is in there fairly common characteristic of young players in the National League. It's exactly what Bob Gainey was saying earlier today, and he seems to be bringing more intensity to the rink on a consistent level. Since, since last February, madano has been a better hockey player. And he'll keep getting better. Here's Crucial Niski on the penalty kill for the Leafs, along with Dave McElwain, who had a shorthanded goal and a big one Thursday night in the Maple Leafs victory over the Vancouver Canucks. Dolan, he has 12 power play goals, comes in front off the skate of LaFave, and the Leafs are able to clear there's the speedy McElwain. Shodin getting back for the North Stars. McElwain behind the net, 23 seconds left in the McCowan penalty. It comes loose to Gilmore. And there's Tenorti on him. Tenorti has not been off the ice yet. We are in well into the third minute of play. Gilmore for checking. And he bumped into Tenorti behind the play. And they will go at it all night. Madano, drop pass. Shodin as the Leafs return to full strength. Here's a chance. Dolan whipped it wide. At the point, Craig Ludwig on. Deflection and Puckman got a piece of that. Leafs cleared around the boards. And a race for it. McCowan after it. But Ludwig beats him to it. Race between two defensemen there. And not the two fastest <laughs> players on the ice. Here's Elling. Feeding it over the line to McPhee. Former Montreal Canadian. Ellen off the boards. Cut off by Trent Platt. Ellen tries the other side. And there's Dave Andrichuk. Rink wide to Anderson. Glenn Anderson. Bad angle shot. And he's taken to the boards. Andrichuk in to get it. Anderson in the corner. Here's Gilmore in the slot. Gilmore! Walk the look down, made the stop. Great chance there for Doug Gilmore. So Wakaluk is sharp on his first test of the night. Gilmore feeds cross ice to Anderson. A little extra time shooting practice this morning for number nine. Can't get the shot away there. Back come the North Stars. Brought in the hatcher. Right side, too far for Clapp. Hatcher's in front, and a nice defensive play by Dimitri Miranov. Miranov starts back for Toronto. Doug Gilmore hits the line. Here's Foligno! Well, one of the five Mike wires one past Darcy Walklock. I don't know whether I've seen Mike Foligno shoot the puck any harder than this. He pours down the right wing, and at a fairly bad angle, drops one from just inside the top of the circle on the short side and on the glove side of Darcy Walkluck. Walkluck really should have had that shot, but give Felino credit. He put it up in the crook of the arm and beat Darcy Walkluck to give the Leafs a lead, and a lead against the North Stars is a vital thing. It forces them out of that defensive hockey that they play so well. So the Leafs open the scoring. Felino's 10th from Gilmore Miranov at 419. Rotten behind the net. Knocked down. McElwain checks him. And Felino clears it outside the line. A hit for Cullen. Here's a break for Cowan. And Wakalek got a piece of that. John Cullen back into McCowan. Shot and a glove saved by Darcy Wakalek. So the Leafs some jump for the opening five minutes and they have the lead.
Welcome back to Maple Leaf Gardens. Face off to the right of Darcy Wakaluk, who's unbeaten in his last six games. North Stars have won four straight on the road and lead the NHL in road wins with 16. And uh, they and Washington are the only two teams in the National League with more road victories than home victories. Got cleared back in, Potvin loves it, and with North Stars all around, he elects to hang on to the puck. Boy, a big time collision, about 432 pounds of bones and skin and equipment come together on this hit. It was a hard hit delivered, and it was well taken. As you see, both of them stagger to recover their balance. The bomber was the third star Thursday night, and it wasn't for any of his stick handling feats. Bob Gainey says Tenorti is in a class with about five defensemen in the NHL, being a real dominant, rugged player with great offensive skills. I guess you'd put a Scott Stevens in that class. Kevin Hatcher, and of course Hatcher's younger brother is Tenardi's defensive mate. Here's Crucial Niski into the zone against Darian Hatcher. Just joined the North Stars this afternoon after a couple of games in Kalamazoo, rehabbing off a sprained knee. Bob Gardner against the boards, let it go. Gill almost got trapped, but Borshevsky came back. Dave Ellen steps over the red line and flips it in. Doesn't seem like Tenorti's been off the ice yet. Pass ahead to Shane Churla. Alec, this is the fourth line for the North Stars. Todd Alec, his shot goes behind. Felix Potbed and around the boards, out to center. Metro defenseman Jim Johnson. And Dolan clears it in. Three minutes, 27 seconds. That's the time already for Tenorti. And the opening six minutes, 15 seconds of this game. Well, he's a 32 to 35 minute defenseman uh, on a regular basis in the National League, and that is a real bonus for Coach King. Wakalek out of the net, hands it to Zezel, feeds it to the crease. And a dangerous play there by Wakalek. Zezel causing havoc again to Berg, to Osborne. Ruled it in front, kicked away by Wakalek. Now back for the North Stars, Madano hits the line. Mike Madano tried to feed it through, broken up by Bill Berg. Now the North Stars change, Lefebvre. Lead pass for Berg at center ice. He clears it in and the Leafs will now make a change. Here's Tenardi. On the left wing, Dave Gagne shot the flex high and over the glass, out of play. Well, it's always a big night when a local boy returns to Maple Leaf Gardens, the National Hockey League player. The fellow there in the glasses is Todd Alec's father, Willie, and on the right in the raincoat is his uncle, Mike. Mike, a former Malver, St. Mike's and University of Toronto star. Two proud guys of young Todd Alec, who took a thrust cortinal shot in the forehead two weeks ago for 48 stitches. Cherry must love this guy, Alec. He didn't even put a visor on, at least for the first month back. I don't know what Todd's mother thinks of that decision. Boy, what a frightening incident. 48 stitches, a concussion, whiplash. Todd had a serious accident as a child, a car accident that resulted in a scar on his face. I asked him how many stitches he has. He says three to 400 on his face and still no visor. Here's Gagne, over the line, right side, flat moving in. Pitman went down, rebound, they score, Mike McPhee. Well, what a spectacular stop Potman made on the original rush and Mike McPhee in a crowd just bats the puck, maybe even on the short hop, into the net. Gagne takes it away from Gilmore to start the rush. You can see the three on two. Gilmore fights hard to get back, to half take it away. Platt nearly scores, and then Bob Rouse doesn't tie up McPhee, and McPhee bats a bouncing puck into the net to tie the game. Oh, well, this is the night for the Mikes. Mike Foligno with his 10th goal now. Mike McPhee with number 10. And we're tied at one. 740, Gagne and Platt get the assist. Lead pass from Mike Craig. Rolling it in. 
Todd Gill back off the boards, and there's Peter Zessel. Lead pass for Osborne, checked by Hatcher. Zessel follows up. Left wing pass broken up by Craig. Osborne battles Dolan. And Zezel gives chase back in the zone. Craig Ludwig for the North Stars. He's bumped by Zezel. They fight for it. It's underneath Zezel. Still loose. And Madano comes up with it. Here comes Mike Madano with 66 points on the year. Leaves it for Dolan with room. Right on rebound. And the Leafs are able to get it. John Cullen will skate to center. Good stop there by Potman. Cullen shot goes wide. And a puck cleared over the glass, out of play. 11-17 left first period. Dave Anichuk, 31 goals, his eighth year as a 30 goal or more scorer. 20 power play goals, second in the National League to Brett Hall, who has 21. Harry, how long did you find it took a player to really make the full adjustment to a new team? Oh, uh, five, 10 games. One of Dave Anichuk's problems is that he's not gonna move here. He's gonna commute. Here's Cardinal, and that's a lot of nights away from home. I might make the adjustment a little longer. Says he's staying in a hotel here in Toronto and already starting to get cabin fever. So he may look for a place after all. Polino into the zone, gives chase. There's Cullen digging it free, and the feed back to the point. Splits the defense and slides down the ice. Sylvain Lefebvre, slowly out of his own zone, deflected by Polino. Still could be icing. Tenardi gets there first, beats Cullen, icing the call against the Leafs. Let's look around the National Hockey League. Two games in the afternoon, and we have two more to report on tonight, or three more. Nothing, nothing in Calgary, the Hartford Whalers. Tadelski has put Ottawa ahead, 1 0. St. Louis and Detroit just starting, 0 0. It's a big game for the Leafs, and Steve Thomas with his 23rd have given the Islanders a range over the Rangers. This afternoon, 6-4 Jersey and 4-1 Pittsburgh. And the Islanders in games against the Rangers in Long Island are 10-0-3 in the last 13. And New Jersey winning today, so that Patrick division race is very tight, and that Islander-Ranger game's a big one tonight. Rangers won the President's Trophy last year, but they are scratching and clawing right now. Two things are gone. Uh, the Rangers' chance to win the President's Trophy, and the President's out of here, too. The Rangers are going to be lucky to make the playoffs. Baumgartner bumped by Churla. Johnson behind the goal. Miranov keeps it in. And now Todd Ellick. Beats across to Big Hatcher, six foot five, 205 pounds, 20 years of age. Marinov, Borshevsky, crucial Neski at center. Reaches for it, can't get it. And now the North Stars come back with Ellick hitting the line, along with former Leaf Stu Gavin. Ellick circles, fakes the shot, heads and already loose. Now Ellick shoots right on. Rouse, ahead to crucial Neski. Missed a hit from Churla, and Gagne sends it back in. Well, the Rose family celebrating the arrival of Callie Rose on Thursday night. Bob missed the game. Glad to report everybody's doing fine. And nice addition to the Rose family, eight pounds, 10 ounces. Bob Rouse was a former captain of this Minnesota North Star team early in his career. Here's Anderson feeding to Gilmore. Two on one. Gilmore works in, tripped up by Tenorti. And a penalty coming up against the North Stars. Yet a squandered chance for the Leafs. Tenorti chopped Gilmore and got him on the hand. Gilmore's in a little pain. Tenorti's going to get the penalty. Gilmore's got a sore hand. He's complaining a little bit to the linesman here. Tenorti and Gilmore, bitter enemies from the past games. He cuts across in front, and there's the slash. Well, that's the kind that can break your wrist. Mark Tenorti.